Hi, and thank you so much for joining me for Storytime with Jen. I have a great book to read. Uh, this is a continuation of the Sneaky Summer Learning Library, and it is uh, for character development, and this particular book is called Mrs. Muddle's Holidays. Katie thought that her neighbors on Maple Street celebrated just about every holiday there was. They exchanged Valentines in February, hung out flags in July, and carved pumpkins in October. Many of them celebrated Ramadan, Rosh Hashanah, or Christmas. A few of them even celebrated Patriots Day, Arbor Day, and Pioneer Day. Then one March, just at the beginning of spring, Mrs. Muddle moved into the little house at the end of the street. The very next day, Katie saw Mrs. Muddle out in her front yard, hanging bits of colored yarn on the trees and bushes. What are you doing? asked Katie. It's first Robin Day, Mrs. Muddle answered. What's that? Katie asked. Today I saw the first Robin of spring, Mrs. Muddle explained. So I'm welcoming the Robins back. The yarn is for their nests. Then I'll make my famous peanut butter and birdseed cookies. Birds love them. May I help? Katie asked. Please do, Mrs. Muddle said. On a soggy day in April, Katie and her neighbor Alicia saw Mrs. Muddle dancing in a puddle holding a beautiful rainbow-colored umbrella. What are you doing? Alicia asked. It's the first shower of spring, Mrs. Muddle said. I love April showers. I just finished dancing the water waltz. Now I'm going to do the puddle plop. Would you like to get your umbrellas and join me? We'd love to. On the first Saturday in May, Katie and her friends noticed Mrs. Muddle digging in her garden. It's Earthworm Appreciation Day, Mrs. Muddle announced. I'm finding worms to compete in my Earthworm Olympics. Can we enter too? begged Katie, Alicia, Tony, and Hassan. Of course, said Mrs. Muddle. But you have to find your own worms in your own garden. By noon, all the gardens on Maple Street were dug up ready for planting. The kids spent the rest of the day determining which worms were the longest, the fattest, and the best tunnel diggers, and the most creative spellers. One of Mrs. Muddle's worms won the Earthworm Derby. On June, Mrs. Muddle was running through her sprinkler in a purple and orange polka dot bathing suit. What are you doing? asked Katie, Alicia, Tony, Hassan, and Rosa. It's the first day of summer, said Mrs. Muddle. I always run through the sprinkler on the first day of summer, but it's more fun with friends. Come and join me. In July, Mrs. Muddle threw her annual watermelon bash. What do we do? Asked Katie, Alicia, Tony, Hassan, Rosa, Jim, and Jen May. Well, see these watermelons? We need to carve faces on them, Mrs. Muddle explained. This year, I want to make them look like my favorite movie stars. We can do that, Katie said. Is there any other way we can help? Of course, said Mrs. Muddle. After we carve these faces, we have to eat all of this watermelon. In August, the kids on Maple Street helped Mrs. Muddle peel, mince, slice, dice, fry, bake, and pickle garlic for her annual garlic jubilee. On September 17th, they held a parade to commemorate the birthday of the inventor of the roller skate. October, the kids helped Mrs. Muddle celebrate the first fire of fall. In November, they raked all the leaves in the neighborhood looking for presents the leaf fairy had hidden. In December, they celebrated the first snow. In January, they held an ice spectacle. And in February, the whole neighborhood joined Mrs. Muddle in celebrating Let's Pretend It's Summer Day. I 
can't wait for the first shower of April, Katie told her friends one day. I just got a beautiful new umbrella. I des I'm designing faces for next year's watermelons, Tony announced. I want to carve them to look like American presidents. I've been practicing on my roller skates, Alicia said. This year, I won't fall down. I like Mrs. Metal's holidays, but I'd like to celebrate a holiday she doesn't know about, Katie said. What holiday is that? asked Jen May. She knows about more holidays than anyone, Hassan added. Not this one, Katie said. Here's my plan. It's going to take a lot of work. We'll need everyone's help. One morning, a few months later, Mrs. Metal noticed her neighbors behaving oddly. Katie and her mother were tying ribbons around everything, even their dog. Jim was decorating the mailboxes with balloons. Alicia and her dad were stringing lights between the lampposts on one side of the street, while Rosa and her brothers strung lights on the other side. Meanwhile, Hassan was decorating the entire street with sidewalk chalk. Mrs. Muddle was curious. It looked as if everyone was getting ready for a holiday, but she couldn't imagine which one. She checked her calendar. It was the second Tuesday after the first full moon, after the summer solstice, but that wasn't a holiday as far as Mrs. Muddle knew. Tables and covered them with delicious food. All the kids gathered round. Mrs. Muddle couldn't hold back her curiosity any longer. What are you doing? she asked. We're celebrating, the children told her. I can see that, Mrs. Muddle said. But what's the big occasion? It's Mrs. Muddle Day, everyone shouted. The lights twinkled, the balloons bobbed in the wind. Katie's dog ran around and barked. The kids got out their kazoos and played a special composition, the Mrs. Muddle March. Everyone ate and laughed and sang and danced at the biggest celebration Maple Street had ever seen.